Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel if you're new here my name is Iga and welcome to another video Today we have a bit of a different video I haven't done something like this in a while Actually I've never done this kind of video uh, But basically we're doing some travelling today um, and tomorrow We are going to visit my husband's family in Texas And we're going for a wedding of one of his friends So we are packing and I thought, even though I'm packed already, I'm going to pack a little pack with me and show you what I'm bringing for a two-week trip um, to Texas, aka what I'm overpacking, because I personally am nosy, and I love to see what people pack. So my assumption is only that my audience would be the same. So without further ado... So welcome to this very interesting setup over here. This is my suitcase. It's nothing interesting, it's just battered up medium sized sky flight suitcase I got for my parents a few years ago. Um, I would take you back a little bit, oh, oh hi, hello. So yeah, this is my suitcase right here. I have two packing, big packing cubes over here, well I have a big and a medium. I have my bra because I, I didn't want to pack it anywhere else. So I have this and it's, it's decently organised and it's not a super, I haven't filled it to the brim. So I'm quite happy about that. So let me show you what I packed. So over here, at the top here, I have shirts and tops. Yeah, I have a whole list of things that I am actually bringing with me. Um, it really helped me to actually not overpack too much, to um, just like get an idea of the clothes I am bringing and what outfits I can have. So if I read you the list, so in terms of packing my shirts I have I've added a few pieces but for the most part I have a black crop top three graphic tees plus my um, Texas Rangers t-shirt because we're going to a baseball game I have a sweatshirt I have a mesh shirt as well mesh leopard print shirt um, and on the list I've had black short sleeve turtleneck which is in there mum jeans which I'm wearing right now but I'm not gonna wear to the flight but about bottoms later, I have my Five Sauce t-shirt, I have my Billie Eilish t-shirt, my Fleetwood Mac t-shirt. I have my Blue Dallas crop top, which I plan on wearing to the Texas State Fair. Um, it's from Primark, you can still get it by the way. <laughs> um, let me show you it. And I actually managed to find a bandana that is a very similar colour to it. And I'm very excited to wear them together in one way or another. I have it rolled up here, if I show you that. So, yeah, this is my Dallas crop top, and this is the bandana. The colour is slightly off, but it's similar enough. Yes, so other than these things that I showed you just here, I do in here have a knitted black crop top, I have a black short sleeve turtleneck, I have a sweatshirt in there, I have two cream tops as well in there. Yeah, so there's, there's plenty of tops. I have my little milkmaid dress top as well couple of crop tops and they all fit perfectly in this little packing cube I say little it's huge and am I taking too many things absolutely yes I am but that's okay because I'd rather have a few more bits if I have the space than not have enough that's my thinking surrounded by it I have my two little bridesmaids boxes we are going to a wedding but i have a few bridesmaids that are from where my husband's from i know i'm saying husband we are married more on that later but we are married but our big wedding is next year and these are my little bridesmaids boxes i'm gonna get them some wine when we get there as well so these are packed like in between and i also have a bunch of socks kind of stuffed around this area because it's, it's just saving space it's more efficient uh, rather than just stuffing it in one place and it taking up way too much space. In this bottom one, I have my bottoms. And so that includes another pair of jeans, skinny jeans. I have my black wrap skirt, my mini black skirt. I have this skirt over here. I have two pairs of shorts, a pleated skirt, some jeans, tiger skirt, a flowery dress and another flowery dress these again fit in here really well I just need to rearrange them again this is what I really really love packing cubes and I would recommend everyone get to set because I know ever since I got packing cubes like my packing 
has severely improved. <laughs> it just makes it easier to organize stuff. It makes it easier to then compress your stuff a little bit as well, which is always a plus whenever you're packing. Underneath it, I have a baseball cap for the baseball game. And I have a flannel as well as a brown corduroy jacket. Where we're going, it's going to be between 26 and 31 degrees Celsius. So I don't exactly need bunches of layers, but it's good to have some. I am also bringing my leather blazer jacket for this trip. So that should be absolutely fine. And just on the sides here, I have some Christmas dog treats for our dog. Um, because we're not going to see him at Christmas, so I'm getting that done now. <laughs> but yes, this is all I have in this compartment over here. Key really with packing for trips like this is bring weather appropriate stuff, something in case of a weather change, and occasional options. So like for example, I have a few date night outfits here, but I also have a lot of casual outfits here i do also have some cocktail outfits but more on that in a second because we are going to a wedding on this side of the suitcase this is a bit of a mess and there's going to be a bit of a difference here within the next 24 hours because we're actually not leaving till tomorrow but we're staying at a hotel tonight so i have like my travel shoes in here because i'm wearing a different pair of shoes today and yeah my travel outfits are actually in the carry-on which we'll get to in a second um, this is my makeup and toiletries bag. I actually am very proud of myself because in the past I've actually just managed to fit the makeup in here but I managed to fit all my toiletries here as well which is quite good if you ask me. I am going to buy um, stuff like shampoo and conditioner and body, lo uh, body gel there because I couldn't be bothered but stuff like heat protectant that I had at home and I'm not going to use a ton of I transferred into here, my eczema cream, uh, my, my SPF is here as well, and a stick deodorant. I have a spray one for the journey. And then all my makeup and skincare is in here, which I'm actually really proud of myself that I managed to, to pack so lightly. And if I need anything, really, I can buy it there. Uh, over here, I have a makeup brushes. This is why I really, really love this bag, because um, it's very versatile. And inside of here, I have hair face masks hair masks you name it um just in case and i also have a little hairspray over here as well so if you would like a more detailed what i brought in my makeup bag for this trip leave a comment down below and i will make it to a separate video but yeah otherwise we're going to be here for hours upon hours um i have makeup remover over here because i like this one and i don't know what the price are like there I have two pairs of lashes that I didn't want to stuff in there. Um, I have some tea from my mother-in-law. <laughs> I also have all my underwear over here in just like a plastic bag. I have a little Prada handbag over here. I'm bringing three bags with me because I cannot find any of my clutches for the wedding. So I'm just going to either buy one there or hope for the best. But I'm bringing this Prada little bag because it's big enough for like a night out. But it's like conveniently small enough for me not to have to like worry about it and then i'm bringing a backpack and a tote bag the tote bag is probably going to be my main bag this trip um this is the short sleeve turtleneck that i'm putting in here because it was like a last minute pack and a silk shirt as well which again a last minute pack yesterday these are the shoes i'm going to travel in and that's pretty much it for this suitcase other than just a random pair of underwear there that I need to wash when I get there. This is my main check-in bag. I do need to eventually invest in a bigger one because I'm not gonna lie to you this is a medium size and I just wish I had more space because I wouldn't have to worry about it. However what I will say having something this size is really good in terms of staying within the weight limits because I don't think I've ever seen this bag be more than like 20 kilograms, even when I've been coming back. This one currently, as we checked yesterday, was 17, wasn't it? Which is pretty good because we have 23 kilos available to us. This over here that needs a good clean is my carry-on, my big carry-on. Um, this is actually where I'm putting all of my stuff for the actual wedding because... I'm not sure I understand. Okay. 
this is actually where I'm putting all of the stuff for the wedding. Oh, you can see my reflection. Hi. Hi. Because I do not want to be in a situation where my luggage gets lost and I do not have my bridesmaid's dress with me. Because that would be real crap. <laughs> uh, makeup and everything else I can rebuy. I can't really rebuy that. So, this is what we're looking at here. Over here we have all my pyjamas and also some bras and stuff as well in this suitcase. Simply because I have the space here. And I can. I have my PJs for tonight, my outfit for the actual travel day, have a spare pair of slides just because they fit in here. I have some Spanx over here and my heels are under there as well. I have little heel pads over here for the wedding shoes. And I also have my port uh, travel hair curler that I'm bringing with me because as I say, I do not want to get stranded without any um stuff for the wedding and i'm doing my own hair and makeup as i say makeup i can rebuy i can't exactly rebuy everything so some bits i need to just have on me um under here is all the stuff that i need for the wedding so i have my actual bridesmaid's dress in this bag here i have two options for the rehearsal dinner so i have this one which was what most likely i'm going to go with it's a really nice short sleeve, like kind of mini wrap, uh, midi wrap dress. I got it from Vinted, but it's originally from New Look. Um, and I really, really love the pattern on it. Um, so this is most likely what I'm gonna go with. But I also have this like aubergine colored long sleeve um, wrap dress as well, which I've worn to a wedding before actually in texas i bought in forever 21 i believe online in the plus size section yeah and these are my shoes for the wedding they are not new i bought them in primark last year they need a clean so ignore that i'm gonna clean them but my bridesmaid's dress is kind of like the color of my the bottom of my nails here yeah that kind of color um but because the dress is long you're not going to be able to see my shoes and these are comfy shoes yeah so i'm wearing these and i you'll notice i have a lot of stuff in like old asos stuff in like asos bags because they are convenient that's why so that is pretty much my carry-on and i also have my little toothbrush and toothpaste that we got from a hotel but actually i'm going to use it throughout the week so that comes in useful but obviously there's going to be changes here because i have the stuff for the plane over here this is most likely going to go in the main one um so some other bits might go in here but that's the general idea of what I have in my suitcases at the moment. Ignore the mess behind us. Ignore it, please. But as you can tell, I have all this here. I still need to pack a hairbrush, which because I was using it earlier today. So I need to pack that, that's for sure. But there are some other bits that I would recommend packing. I'd recommend a good backpack if you can have it. And in your backpack, I would definitely recommend putting some stuff, which I'm going to do now so I don't forget. I have a spare water bottle in here. I'm gonna empty it before we leave. All my liquids are already in here. If you are interested in seeing what I'm bringing in my carry-on, I can also make that separate video when I come back from this trip. Otherwise, this video is gonna be 10 years long. But the most important things, your wallet or purse, which I am putting in here. However, we have a little document organizer for our trip that has all our important bits. So we have our cards, we have our marriage certificate in case we need it, our passports in here, and an emergency $50 bill in here as well. So I can much easier just quickly grab this because it's at the top of my bag with my, like, rather than my purse, which will be at the bottom of my bag. Doing this video is really good as well because I'm gonna know that I've definitely packed something in a certain place because I've seen it. Um, so this is gonna go in there. We have the wedding invitation in case they question why we are going there. So we have all that jazz as well. This needs to go in my main compartment bag, but for now I'm putting it in this one, uh, which is my camera stuff, AKA four spare batteries for my camera, three. Three spare batteries for my camera um, and charger. These are really good chargers. They come with spare batteries. This is my second one because I lost mine for a while and I found it yesterday. I digress but these are really good to have they are actually quite small and you can plug it into any usb outlet uh, to charge your camera battery so they're quite nice and i'm just putting it in here um it's gonna go in this little baggie i have my um apple watch charger in here my friend scrunchie that i'm gonna give back 
and some other just like little useless bits that I am putting in here. And then most importantly, I cannot forget sunglasses. Sunglasses are important. I am bringing three pairs because I am extra. So again, these need to go in my carry-on. I'm gonna put them there in a second. Right, so there are a few other bits that I would recommend. You don't need to, but I would recommend. Obviously, don't forget your headphones. But a good thing is to have a wire for your headphones or bring a pair of wired headphones because if you're taking a long flight, they will most likely not give you free headphones anymore which is a travesty in my opinion. Like I was saying, what really helped me with this trip in terms of packing is making a list. This is my notion over here. I'll um, insert a little screen recording of it over here. So this is over here, my little Texas to-do list um, in my travel section. So as you can see over here, I have a whole packing list, I have a to-do list, I have stuff I want to buy there, and I have clothing pieces. So clothing pieces was really good at kind of determining what I want to bring. You can see over here I haven't actually checked some things. Um, it doesn't have to be super specific, whatever works for you. Um, this is just how I did it. Um, and it worked for me. So it just helps you remember what you need to bring. It doesn't have to have exactly every single item. You can always add and delete as you're going, but it just gives you a good idea of what to look for. Um, as you can see, I'm deleting some stuff. I've decided against one pair of shoes. Um, so I'm gonna bring these instead. So those are already packed. My boots are in my husband's bag. My loafers I'm wearing today. Heels, heels. I have packed in my carry-on and slides I have packed in my carry-on. So pretty much everything I have here, plus a few more bits, I packed. And then on my packing list, I have stuff like, I have my passport packed, I have my proof of vaccination already done, my friend has our tickets, an itinerary I have done, but I need to finish the flight one, which I can do tonight. I don't have any medication, but I do have my sanitizer packed in my bag. I have, I'm bringing, a long sleeve shirt and I'm also bringing layers on the flight which is fine um, so this is fine my water bottles already in my bag snacks and I can do later a pen I have in there makeup I've decided not to bring a uh, book I still need to put in there gum I'm gonna buy at the airport and sunglasses I have done so that is sorted in terms of clothes, I have my bridesmaid's dress, rehearsal, whatever. You saw it. But it just gives you a better idea of what you have to bring, what you need, like what you can bring. And like what you absolutely need. You know? Um, a good way of doing this is finding a list online. That's what I did. I found a few different lists on Pinterest and in general just on Google and from people on YouTube and I just compiled my own list of everything I thought I needed to bring and I came up with this list. And the good thing is once you've done it once, what you can do is just adjust it slightly to your next trip and then you're sorted. Um, so that's my little useful tip here as well from like someone who travels a lot. But yeah, this is probably all I have for you guys today. Sorry about the no makeup, sorry about the mess, but we are literally leaving in how long? Two hours, three hours? Yeah. So we still have cleaning to do and I really wanted to film this video for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate you being here. I hope you have an incredible October whenever you're watching this. Um, and I will see you guys in our vlogs, which will be coming sometime after this video. So yeah, if you do have any more questions, do leave them in the comment down below and I will try and get back to them. If you did enjoy this video, do leave it a thumbs up up and if you would like to join a little family and um, click subscribe down below and uh, for more videos like this although i haven't done a travel video in a while maybe more often from now on but yeah thank you so much for watching i appreciate you all and i will see you guys next time